Welcome back. It's been a few days since we've last played on the site. Let's try playing some 10 minute games and see how we do. Uh, give the app a minute to load. I think recently the loading times for the application have improved. So whatever they've done seems to be working. So here we go. We'll stick to our usual central file rook and see how it goes. At least last time in my experience this took under two minutes to load. So previous weeks it had taken longer to load. I think loading refers to the downloading of assets. Yeah, there we go. So they've got the download time set to like 30 seconds or something. They've reduced the content to, or compressed it. Good luck. All right, we go first. I've won two games in a row. They've won four in a row. Uh, let's close this diagonal to prevent chaos. Uh, okay. I mean, I said I wanted to play Central Far Rook, but I kind of don't anymore. So, yeah, we're going to see some tactics here. Oh, boy. Um, how do we deal with this threat? They have hard committed to this attack. I'm not even sure I'm going to castle anymore. The hell is this? Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. I've done this once before. And I was successful with whatever this is, but it's still scary. Um... Yeah, Mino is weak on its head, so perhaps, I don't know, perhaps I play this castle. Um, I'm a, more than a bit out of my element here. Let's bring our silver out, because eventually we'll need to use it. Um... I'm not sure that I need to react to this. I don't really see a purpose in reacting to it, because my king is not on the edge file. So yeah, they could break my edge, but I'm not sure that I'm worried about that. Um, I don't know what to do. That's the real concern here. Oh, right. So I forgot I do need to defend uh, the left side of the board a bit better than I usually do. Where usually I just drop the pawn in front of my bishop and then cry in a corner. Let's see if I can do better than that this time. So where's the silver going? Yes, they've protected the head of their bishop. But there's something I don't understand about this position. If they attack the rook, I think I just move it up and back over from whence it came. Okay, we'll bring this closer to my castle so I don't accidentally drop stuff. I don't understand. Okay, well that's to protect that piece. Fine. 
Um, I guess we'll apply some confusing pressure on this side of the board. This does block one of the lines that my bishop could be using. My rook is blocking the other line that my bishop could be using. Some kind of not using the bishop at all, at least until his pawn moves once more. Which I think it will. Um, oh, they're going to confront my rook directly. All right. Let's see how that goes. Interesting. I didn't think they'd actually do it. Um... Nanafun. This is such a bizarre game. Right, so they, they do this attack. Oh, okay. I mean, I see that stuff is attacked, but what of it? I guess we'll move the rook and we'll activate the rook and the bishop at the same time. And do this little seesaw thing. It's true, this whole time my bishop is not defended. So there could be a problem here. Um, Yeah, I'm not fully content with my position. Um, yeah, let's go back here and try to think of something better. Okay. Um, I'll just bring the knight out. It's okay that my bishop cries. I see. Um, go for Yeah, I guess we'll go for this rather confusing thing. My rook is exposed. I guess I walked into a tactic here that I really did not need to walk into. Um. Oh. There's more than one tactic here. That kind of hurts. Um. All right, congrats. You win material. You win a lot of material. That's okay. 
Somehow I'll survive this, maybe. Our opponent is playing very strongly, so congrats to them if they win this. Yeah, yeah, that's why I did not want to give them a Rook. Rook is a pretty scary piece to face here. Um... So what do I do with my three pawns? I don't know. I guess we start an attack here, despite, like, it's not the most promising attack, but we have to start somewhere. Okay, we'll defend this. I mean, yeah, they called out my weakness. Um, but I guess my if they drop a gold over on my king's right, I guess my king advances. And we pray that things will be okay somehow. Uh, for example, this. It's a cheap bow, but we'll do it. We'll take it. Thumpum. Um. This might not be right, but I'm in severe time pressure, so I'm playing impulsively here. Um, interesting. I guess we'll attack their rook and see what they think. What a dance. What a dance. Still in time pressure. Huh. I seem to get lucky here. Okay, we'll take the rook. Uh, am I checkmated? I mean, I, I needed to take the rook, so 
Hopefully I'm not checkmated. All right. Interesting. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're in pressure. We are pressured here. Oh, that's not smart. Yeah. That's me asking for them to attack me. Um, that was not smart. It's not like my bishop was going anywhere anyway. Nice fork. Um, I actually gained material on that exchange, but, you know, still a clever fork. I'm not sure where best to stick that. Also, it's a knight. Um, oh, clever. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. My mistake. That's a really nice tactic they spotted. Gosh darn it. I'm pissed. Okay, we're gonna sack some stuff now, because I feel like sacking. Um. So this is tremendously dangerous, but again, I have no time to think. So. I am lost. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, our opponent played brilliantly. Minus some Rook Rook Fork. Uh, thanks for the game. Alright, let's play another game. Good luck. Um, interesting choice of opening here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I know this is like super aggressive on my part. But I think it's... I've done this before with extremely good results. Um, actually, let's do the most interesting line here. Should they choose to go into it. Here we go. So we're threatening to promote our bishop right in front of their king. Um, and so we do. Um, and then we defend the head of our king. And we bring out another bishop. <laughs> I 
Oops, I'm not sure that a rook is necessarily the strongest attacking piece in this opening. Let's have some fun. Sadly, I cannot double my pawns, or we would have a roaring attack here. Um, instead, we'll have to settle for just taking a knight and continuing to attack. Oh, I had an advantage last game. Yeah, well, once I'd taken their... Um, what was it? Once I had the Rook Rook Fork, I had an advantage. But yeah, they played brilliantly. So what can you do? I still contend that bishops in the opening are excellent fighting pieces. So I'm not adverse to this sort of exchange over and over. Um, probably should have taken this pawn. I don't know. But this way I'm threatening to take here. Actually, no, had I taken the pawn, I'd have to give up my horse. So we'll keep this. Um, but yeah, we got the bishop pair. Um, Right, that's a free lance. Okay. Oh, where to put it? I don't know. I mean, I could take the other lance, but what good does that do? Get swept up in this excitement just a bit. Um... Nanafun. Okay, this is a way for me to activate the horse with gain of tempo. Because now they walk directly into a fork. Um, so do we take the gold outright, or do we have better? I mean, taking it looks pretty good. Here, this looks like a fun square for a lance. Let's see how that goes. I'm now seeing that they have a pawn in hand and regretting what I just did. But still, it's okay. It's fine. It's not like their castle is super solid or anything. Oh, we could just support the lance this way. Interesting. There is some tension. 
right there. You can taste it. Uh, yeah. No, you're right. You get to attack. I get to attack. It's we all get to share this fun position. Um. Still wish I had a rook, but that ain't happening. This lance is just going to pass from team to team, isn't it? Um, I think I just sack for this. Pretty sure this is sound. Um... Go for me. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this is completely wrong minded. I don't know. I think I'm going to get dunked on any second now, as soon as they can find some tactic. But we went down fighting. All right, there's a tactic. Uh, don't really want to take it. Uh, I kind of want to take it. It's if I do take, I'm gonna have to sacrifice this force. But I think that's okay. Hmm. I don't know. Seems unnecessary for me to take the night. Am I missing something? I don't think so. Let's find out. Let's 
It's possible I missed something. Sampun. It's likely that I missed something. Hmm. What do we do now? Guess attempt to defend my king. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I had made. It's not even close. This is the excitement of playing before you think. And this website... I don't know. You don't have Yoyomi to think with, so it's hard to think on the spot. But yeah, I was convinced that I saw a mate there. So I went for it. Despite last Sunday, Shogi Harbor imploring that don't sacrifice lots of pieces for checkmate unless it's actually mate. Um, this seems to be me continuing to ignore that call. But, yeah, what can I do? I don't know. I could play more 81 Dojo. I could play other sites. Um, sites where there is such a thing as Byoyomi. Or I could play 10 second Byoyomi, but that's kind of brutal too. In its own way. All right, we're in check. If I take that, the rook promotes. If I don't take that, well, I get attacked anyway. Oh gosh, that's brutal. Um, I have to run this way because I can't allow them to take this with check. Um. Okay, so yeah, I am not in a good position. Oh boy. Um, I mean, what can I do? This is going to hurt a lot. We'd block with a pawn if we could, but we have a pawn on the same file, so we have to block with something else. Maybe you're remarking on the fact that I should have pushed the king into the corner while it was easier to do so, and you're probably right. Even if it's only he, she, and not checkmate, I probably still should have pushed the king into the corner, but I don't know. Maybe. I, it's hard for me to understand. Bizarre. Extremely bizarre. Um, well, they're threatening mate on the head and stuff, so... Yeah, we have to pursue this with check. And since my two gold generals cannot mate on their own, we need to involve this piece. Um, I don't know about this. 
incredible. They actually allow this for some reason. I guess because it doesn't matter. But they allowed it. Uh, okay, let's get my king out of here. I don't understand. I think they misclicked. Okay. Embarrassingly, I don't know how to attack here. I can guess, I just don't know. So I'm making many guesses at this point. Hoping to get lucky. That was not smart. Well, maybe it was, because if they move the gold over, I can mate. Um, so maybe it's fine, actually. Sanjibio. <sighs> Thanks for the game. I blocked at the bishop because a gold general's extremely scary there. And if I had the gold general, they played gold 3-3, three, three, I could mate in the corner. That was wild. Right. Good luck. Hmm. Alright, this could be interesting. It ain't go Keegan Central Rook or whatever, but, you know, we can still make it work. Hang on, I probably want to defend this, right? I'm just not sure of the best way to defend it. But... Let's, yeah. Actually, you only want to play that particular bishop move, or gold move, if bishops have been exchanged. I keep forgetting that. Um, anyway, I've maybe survived an opening. I'm not sure. Um... So, okay, interesting, um, makes sense, oh boy, what to do, I think it's fine, but there's going to be a weird timing here, um, and this is the weird timing where my castle is split. 
and hopefully it just comes and goes, but, you know? Yeah, all right, our castle is connected again. Um. Oh, goodness, really? What's this? Um, hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Having ideas and knowing are not the same thing. I just don't know. This could be terribly weakening. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think I'm morally obligated to take the pawn. I think that's how that goes. All right, so they bring up the knight, but the knight is an easy target here. Uh, so we will hit the target. I mean, eventually I should drop the bishop and promote it this way, too, but there are just so many fun targets to hit. Um, this is risky because I might be trapping my bishop somehow, and I didn't read everything out. This is also risky because their rook seems to be promoting. But we get a silver. Wait, no. I just trapped my bishop. <laughs> Alright, whatever. It's fine. Um, yeah, this is the line I was starting to look at, where they just, like, let me attack their rook. And then I could move the gold away and keep a gold but they still get to promote the rook. Um, Do I take the knight, or do I protect my bishop, or move it? Taking the lance looks okay. Well, no. There's a lot. There's so much pressure here. Um... I think this has to be okay. Get rid of that monster before it demolishes my uh, whole position. Um,
what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do in this position. I'm playing something aggressive, but the silver is out in no man's land, but it does stop their rook from promoting. They might exchange it for the horse, and maybe that's for the best for both of us. I don't know. Am I checkmated? Am I checkmated? Maybe. So they might fork my king and uh, silver because they have this rook. I forgot they had another rook. Yeah, I don't know what how to counter that. Their attack is so strong and mine is not. They don't fork me. Okay. That's a bit greedy. Um, or ambitious. So we'll attempt to hold this fort, and it's going to suck. But I'm not going to like exchange rooks and then end up in another fork with my king in the center, so... Could have... Couldn't block with a pawn. Running away looked too scary. But maybe running away was best. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I saw that. And I chose that, like, I can try to defend this. They have one gold and other stuff in hand, so this is going to be painful, but maybe I might be able to hold it. This is always a good square for a bishop, or so it seems. Um... Go for me. Mmm, that stings. All right. Well spotted. Um, yeah, that's gonna fold my castle. All right. There's nothing that can be done to hold it. So. Yeah, I'm just lost. There's no holding on to this position. We have to run. Because otherwise they do another night drop and they take our silver and they just keep doing more and more night drops, so... This is a moment to run. And yeah, my attack is useless. I have pawns in hand, it's just I need to push on the third file for anything to happen here. So I guess that's next up on the agenda, and it's very easily countered by them putting a piece in the way of my bishop. Um, so I guess we'll anticipate various moves with this, one of which is the drop right in front of the bishop. Another of which is then putting a bishop next to my king.
Yeah, this is... I don't know how I'm going to manage an attack here, but we'll try. I mean, I said, like, I have to push this pawn. And then pray for a miracle. So, oh, well. There goes that plan. Um... I mean, not necessarily... Well... Okay, this is fairly ridiculous. They are so concerned about my attack. I don't understand why. Um, but this actually makes their bishop prone to attack. So we'll try to exploit it somehow. Um... If they take this with the bishop, that activates my silver. So, it could be worse. We have an attack and very little defense, as opposed to no attack and no defense. This gold is just so far away. Oh, is that checkmate? Oh. All right, nicely done. I missed that. Thanks for the game. All right, well, three games. I lost count, but I don't think I won today. I don't seem to remember winning any games. We had some strong opposition. Maybe I did win one of them. But yeah, the first one I won on timeout. Yeah, after defending a very difficult position. So, I hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.